rare plushies have to be my favorite type of Sonic plushies. There's always something so special about them. Some new plushies for Sonic the Hedgehog just feel a little too basic. So I'm here to talk about a few rare Sonic the Hedgehog plushies. Starting with the Sonic Adventure plush set, this set had two waves. Wave 1 featured Sonic the Hedgehog, Tails the Fox, Knuckles the Echidna, a Chow, and Big the Cat. Wave 2 featured Amy Rose, Dr. Eggman, a Flying Chow, or a Knight's Chow, so it's designed with Chow's based off of Knights from Knights into Dreams, and E102 Game. For time, I won't be talking about every portion of the set. Anyways, I think Sonic might be my favorite in this set. You might notice that the proportions are somewhat classic Sonic like. That's because the body of this plush is based off in game model Sonic. However, I'm pretty sure the head is based off the artwork, going by the eyes. Speaking of the eyes, Sonic's eyes, including everyone's in the set and everyone's glasses, are made of plastic, which looks really nice. Everyone except for Eggman's shoe soles are made out of vinyl, which can peel, so it's a good thing that it was done for Eggman. I also love this tag. Now, before we move on, this plush was actually re released as a Sonic X plush. If you want these, you can likely find them on eBay or some Japanese site that sells things, because that's where most rare plushies end up. Before we finally move on, here's a fun fact there are prototypes of these plushies that were used in these commercials. Sonic Adventure! Oi, Sonic! Next, I'm going to be talking about the Mac Yuga Sonic plushies. They made plushies for Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. The eyes and mouth were made out of embroidery. However, I'm not sure what the shoes are made of but it's some type of material that can and or will crack. As you can see in this picture for an eBay seller who is selling their Knuckles plush, or this picture of a Sonic plush who also has cracked shoes, which might mean the material is vinyl. Here's a picture of some Sonic shoes that are slowly cracking, but still look good. These just look ripped, and I can't find any cracked tail shoes. Anyways, this is another Yuka Sonic, but he's way smaller and has a closed mouth. One thing I didn't mention until now, is that there were different sizes of these. There was a small Sonic, a medium Sonic, and a large Sonic, and an XL Sonic, a medium and large Tails, and a medium and XL Knuckles. Here's a picture of three small Sonics. According to the wiki, all the three of these look different because of the varying quality control. But what makes these super special is that one, they're only made in China, and two, these figures can bend and are posable because of wires in their limbs. I also like the design of these characters for the plushies. Before we move on, I just want to say that the plushies have these very cool tags, and also have these holographic buttons. To know if your plush is bootlegged, look on the back of that button. Speaking of bootlegged, these plushies were supposedly bootlegged, but I can't find any pictures of those bootlegs. Moving on, there was a plush set for Sonic 1, and the first ever Sonic plush set. And not only was the first ever Sonic plush set, but it was the first ever Sonic the Hedgehog plushies to ever exist. Featuring Sonic, Robotnik, Pecky, Flicky, and Pocky. Something special about this Sonic is the arms and legs are string. The nose kind of looks like a pom pom ball, and the eyes and shoes are felt. Same with the clothes. The Sonic was really released to have plastic shoes. But you can see that the blue string for the legs are just glued onto the socks, which have a really big hole. And the shoes can easily fall off because of the glue, and they probably weren't even glued that well. But I do like how you can attach the hands on this version. Another thing I like about this plush it has to be the tag. It's very cool and has some really nice artwork. Sonic having very noodly limbs on this tag likely inspired the plush. Some of you might think this plush looks kind of weird, but this was very early in Sonic's creation, hence the Sega Sonic the Hedgehog tag. That's a long story. And the quills being flat? That stuff. I think the other characters look way better, but Sonic looks fine. There's a lot of stuff we didn't talk about. The stuff I just talked about is only a few. There's many more rare Sonic plushies out there. 
Well, I just want to talk about these ones. You can go look up many more rare Sonic plushies. If you're thinking of buying one, go for it. That is if you can't afford it. You can usually find rare plushies on eBay. But they will go from a couple hundred dollars to a few thousand. If you have the money and want to buy a rare plush, then you definitely should. Go on eBay and search for that rare plush that you want. And hey, the limit isn't just plushies. You can find rare figures. And for those wondering what that Yuka is, I have no idea. When you search up Mac Yuka, only their Sonic plushies come up. Although, I have heard that they are a company, so we can assume that they didn't last very long. Maybe they made a few Sonic plushies, and then likely shut down the following year. If you know anything about the company's history, comment down below. But that's all I have wanted to talk about, and I'll see you guys next time.